Hello and welcome. My name is Savannah and today I will be guiding you through a short yoga flow for beginners. So if you are new to the practice of yoga, this class is perfect for you. All you will need for this class is yourself and a yoga mat. If you don't have a yoga mat, you can use some other soft surface like a carpet or maybe a blanket or you can do this practice outside on the grass. If you enjoy this class, please hit that subscribe button. This way you won't miss any of the other yoga classes that I will be sharing here on my channel. Let's begin in a seated position. Stack your shoulders over top of your hips. Lift the crown of your head, the top of your head up towards the sky. Ground down through your hips and your sitting bones, your entire lower body, and lift up through your upper body. We'll take a few nice deep breaths here. In and out through the nose. One more breath. On your next inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, bring your hands together at heart center. Twice more, just like that. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands together at your heart center. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lower to your heart. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, bring your right hand down to the right side, just next to your body. Reach your left arm up and over towards the right, finding a side body stretch for the left side. Inhale, come back through center. Second side, bring your left hand down to the ground next to you. Reach your right arm up overhead towards the left. Finding this big side body stretch for the right side. On your next inhale, come back through center. Exhale, side body stretch the first side. Bring the right hand down to the ground. Reach your left arm up and overhead. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, bring your left hand down. Reach your right arm up and overhead. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, bring your right hand onto your left knee. Bring your left hand behind you. Look over your left shoulder towards the back of your space for a twist. Sit up nice and tall. As you breathe in, come through center, reach your arms up. As you breathe out, bring your left hand to your right knee. Bring your right hand back behind you. Look over your right shoulder. Sit up nice and tall. Inhale to come back through center. Exhale, bring your right hand to your left knee. Bring your left hand back behind you. Look over your left shoulder for a twist. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, bring your left hand to your right knee. Right hand back behind you. Sit up nice and tall. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, release your hands at heart center. Bring your hands to the ground just in front of you and start to walk yourself out into a forward fold. You can rest your forehead down onto the ground if it reaches, otherwise you can keep it lifted. You can continue to walk your hands farther out in front of you or you can leave them where they are. Start to walk your hands back in towards your body and come into a tabletop position on all fours, hands and knees. So your shoulders will be over top of your wrists and your hips will be over top of your knees. Spread all 10 fingers nice and far apart. 
From here, inhale, extend your right leg straight back behind you. Find space, find length, and as you breathe out, bring your right knee towards your nose, round your back up towards the ceiling. Inhale, lengthen out, extend your right leg straight back. Exhale, bring your right knee towards your nose, round your spine. A few more just like that. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round, crunch it in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch it in and round your spine. One more time. Inhale, extend it back. Exhale, bring right knee towards the nose. Inhale, lengthen it back. And we'll hold right here for just a couple of breaths with the right leg extended straight back behind. Good, release the right knee down, extend your left leg straight back behind you. Inhale here, find space, find length. Exhale, bring the left knee towards your nose, round your back up towards the sky. Inhale to extend the left leg back. Exhale to bring the knee in towards your nose. Inhale to lengthen, exhale knee to nose. A couple more of these, inhale, lengthen, exhale, knee towards the nose. Once more. Inhale, lengthen, find space, find length, extending the left leg straight back behind us. We'll stay here for just a little bit longer. Can you lengthen out a little bit more from the top of your head all the way back towards the left foot? Good, lower the left knee down. Bring your hands a little bit farther out in front of you. Fingers are spread nice and far apart. Tuck your toes under and lift your hips up and back into downward facing dog. You can have the knees as bent as you would like them to be. So the legs don't have to be completely straight here. Feel free to find any movement here in your downward facing dog that feels good for you. Take a big breath in. As you breathe out, make your way to the top of your mat. As you inhale, bring your hands onto your shins, lengthen out through your spine, look forward. Exhale to fold down over your legs. Your knees can be as bent as you would like them to be. Breathe in, come all the way up to stand. Reach your arms up. Take up space here. Exhale, hands come down together at heart center. Inhale, reach your arms up. Look up towards the hands if you like. Exhale to fold down over your legs. The knees can be bent. Inhale, halfway lift. Plant your hands down. Step both feet back to the back of your mat. Lower your knees down and lower all the way down to your belly. Hands are underneath your shoulders. The toes are untucked. As you breathe in, lift your chest up. Exhale to lower down. As you breathe in, come into your tabletop. Hands and knees. As you breathe out, come into a child's pose. Big toes come together. Knees can be as far apart as you like. Sit your hips down towards your heels. Arms out in front of you. Your forehead can rest down onto your mat. Breathe here. Good, come forward into your tabletop. Fingers are spread nice and far apart, toes tuck under, lift your hips up and back. Coming into our downward facing dog once again. Take a big breath in. As you breathe out, make your way to the top of your mat. We'll move through this flow a few times. 
As you breathe in, hands come onto your shins, halfway lift, the knees can be bent here if you like. Exhale, fall down over your legs. Inhale, come all the way up to stand, reach up, take up space. Exhale, hands come down at heart center. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale to fold down over the legs. The knees can be bent here. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands come onto the shins. Find length in your back body. Exhale, plant your hands down. Step to the back of your mat. Lower your knees down and lower all the way down to your belly. Hands are underneath your shoulders. Toes are untucked. As you breathe in, lift up into your cobra pose. Hug your elbows in towards the sides of your body. Keep your arms nice and bent. Exhale to lower. We'll do this a couple more times. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, come on up into your tabletop, hands and knees. As you exhale, bring your big toes to touch. Come into your child's pose. Knees can be as far apart as you like. Arms out in front of you. Rest your forehead down onto your mat. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Come into your tabletop. Fingers spread nice and far apart. Tuck your toes under. Lift your hips up. Downward facing dog. Take a big breath in here and a full breath out. Inhale, as you exhale, make your way to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen out. Exhale to fold down over your legs. Inhale, come all the way up to stand, reach up. Exhale, hands come together at heart center. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold down over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands down, step to the back of your mat. Lower your knees down to the ground. And lower all the way down to the belly. On your next breath in, lift up into your cobra. Keep your elbows nice and bent here. Exhale, lower. A couple more of these, inhale, lift. Exhale to lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale to lower. As you inhale, lift up into your tabletop, hands and knees, all fours. Exhale, come into your child's pose. Allow your hips to come down onto your heels, forehead rest down onto your mat. Allow your body to soften down towards the earth. Good, come forward into your tabletop. We'll move through this flow one more time. Make your way into your downward facing dog as you are ready. Take a big breath in. And as you breathe out, make your way to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, hands come onto your shins, lengthen out through your spine, look forward. Exhale, fold down over your legs. Inhale, come all the way up to stand, reach up. Exhale, hands come together at heart center. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale to fold down over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen out. 
plant your hands down, exhale, step to the back of your mat, lower the knees down and lower yourself all the way down to the ground. On your next inhale breath, lift up into your cobra, exhale, lower, twice more, inhale, lift, exhale to lower, inhale to lift. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, press up into your tabletop position. As you exhale, come into your child's pose. Good, come forward into your tabletop, fingers are spread nice and far apart, tuck your toes under, make your way into your downward facing dog. Step your right foot through in between your hands, lower your left knee down, as you breathe in, reach your arms up, shoulders come over top of your hips. Right knee is over top of the right ankle. Right leg is nice and bent. Ground down through the right foot, the left knee, as well as the top of the left foot. The left toes are untucked. Inhale here. Exhale, bring your hands down to frame your right foot. Tuck your left toes under, lift up your left knee. Inhale, rise up, reach your arms up overhead for crescent lunge. Right knee is still over top of the right ankle. The left leg, your back leg is now straight. One more breath here. Bring your hands down to frame your right foot as you breathe out. Lower your left knee down. Bring your right foot to the right side of your mat. So both hands come to the inside of the right foot. Settle in here to your lizard lunge and breathe. Full breaths in and full breaths out through your nose. One more breath. Good, bring your right foot back to the center of your mat. So your hands are on either side of your right foot. Tuck your left toes under, lift up your left knee and step the right foot back into your downward facing dog. Take a big breath in and a full breath out. Once again, big breath in, full breath out. Step your left foot through now in between your hands, top of the mat, lower your right knee down, and as you breathe in, rise up into your low lunge. The right toes are untucked, so the top of the right foot is down on your mat. Can you ground down a little bit more into your left foot, the right knee, and the top of the right foot? Inhale here. Exhale, bring your hands down to frame your left foot. Tuck your right toes under, lift up your right knee. On your next inhale breath, rise up, shoulders over top of the hips, your arms reach up overhead for your crescent lunge. Left knee is over top of the left ankle. 
right leg is straight. One more full breath. Take an inhale here. Exhale, bring your hands down to frame your left foot. Lower the right knee down onto your mat. Heel toe your left foot to the left side of your mat. Untuck your right toes. So the top of the right foot is down on the mat. Come into your lizard lunge here. Left knee is over top of the left ankle. You can move your weight here from side to side if that feels good. Or find any other movement that you like. We'll be here for a little bit longer. Good, let's bring the left foot now in between the hands to the center of the mat, tuck the right toes under, lift up the right knee, and step back into your downward facing dog. Take a big breath in, and a big breath out. Another big breath in, and a big breath out. Lower down to your knees. Bring your legs out in front of you, coming to a seated position. Right leg will be straight and cross your left foot to the outside of your right leg. So the left leg is bent, right leg is straight. Hug your left knee in towards you, in towards your chest with your right arm. Reach your left arm up overhead and then bring the left hand behind your back. Start to twist from the base of your spine. Look over your left shoulder if that feels okay for your neck. One more breath. Good, come back through center, releasing from that posture. Extend your left leg straight out in front of you. We'll do that twist on the second side now. So cross your right leg over your left. Right foot will plant down to the left side of your mat. Hug your right knee in towards your chest with your left arm. Reach your right arm up overhead and then bring the hand behind your back. Sit up a little bit taller and then look over the right shoulder towards the back of your space if that feels okay for your neck. Otherwise, feel free to look wherever you like. We'll be here in this twist for one more breath. Good, let's release. Extend both legs long out in front of you. And take your time to lower down onto your back. Coming into our final posture of class, Shavasana. So take up as much space on your mat as you like. Your feet can go towards the top two corners of your mat. Arms can go alongside your body. Feel free to make any adjustments that you would like to make in order to become a little bit more comfortable. Settle in here.
Allow your entire body to soften down towards your mat. Allow your breath to flow in and out however it wants to. Rest here. Integrating all of the beautiful work that you did during your practice today. Allowing it to all come together. Letting yourself receive all of the benefits of this yoga practice. Begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. You can rotate your wrists and ankles. Eventually, hug your knees in towards your chest. Wrap your arms around your legs and rock a little bit from side to side. From here, roll over onto one side. Use one arm as a pillow to rest your head on. And here I invite you to think of a few things that you are grateful for. And then when you're ready, you can press yourself up and come into a comfortable seated position. Thank you so much for being here. I really hope you enjoyed this practice. If you did, you can hit the subscribe button and that way you won't miss out on any of the yoga practices that I will be sharing here on my channel. You can also leave me a little comment and let me know any thoughts, feedback, anything else that you like. I always love hearing from you. 
And if there is any requests that you have for future classes, you can leave those in the comments as well. And I look forward to hearing from you and filming the classes that you want to see. Thank you once again for being here. The light within me sees and honors the light within you. Namaste.